It's Pot O'Clock! And more importantly, it's game number two of three in my ultimatum for Graham Potter as Chelsea welcome Leeds to Stamford Bridge. Before we get started, you know the drill. Smash the like button and subscribe. I'm very excited to announce the Harry and Daily Show. Finally, <laughs> after how long it's taken to get this um, up and running, on my part, that is, uh, coming out on Thursday, where myself and my fantastic co-host, Mr. Daily Perales, uh, known for his expertise in the world of boxing, coaching the likes of Deji in his fight against Floyd Mayweather. He even uh, commentated on Floyd Mayweather's most recent exhibition. We'll now have a place to vent his Chelsea thoughts alongside myself, uh, his thoughts and frustrations once every two weeks here on this very channel. So keep an eye out for that. Very exciting stuff. I'm, I'm, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Game one, an L of monumental proportions against Tottenham sees Potter scrambling for anything but a defeat as a loss against Leeds would be the first time since 1993 that the Blues have uh, lost four competitive games in a row and the first time that we've lost four competitive games in a row and haven't scored since 1929. Coming up against a Leeds side that beat us 3-0 earlier this season. A Chelsea side that were in much better form than we are right now. It's got to be said, it's far from a guarantee that we can even come away with a draw in this game. You'd have thought that our season couldn't have possibly gone um, from bad to worse any more than it has done already. But with Thiago Silva out for uh, six weeks, that is six whole weeks, uh, the unfathomable has become a reality. Mateo Kovacic is available after illness, but one pro comes with a heap of cons, with Reese James now a doubt with a hamstring strain, and both, uh, well, uh, Mason Mount also absent just to top things off. Predicting scores for Chelsea games is hard as it is, as we know, but now with the inclusion of these new injuries, it, it, it just gets even more tired to be a Chelsea fan these days. Expectations through the floor. We can't even be sure of a draw tomorrow, let alone a, a, a hoping for a win. I, don't, I, don't, I was going to say let alone a win, let alone hoping for a win. That completely gone. Even basing your predictions off of previous meetings holds absolutely no bearing on the result. Chelsea have won their last five matches against Leeds in all competitions. Nice one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter one iota. Chelsea have failed to win in their last five matches in the Premier League. Now that one, that statistic, that one right there holds something. It holds just how shite we've become. Whilst we may have gone 24 years without losing to Leeds at home in the Premier League, Chelsea will always find a way to make those sorts of statistics and facts come to life. I said in the watch along against Tottenham that Richarlison was bound to score because he hasn't done all season. Uh, as we love gifting players those types of things, i.e. I, I, McGoldrick back in the, you know, a few years ago, he hadn't scored. He scored a brace on the last game of the season or, or more or less. Or teams, these outrageous stats um, we, we give to, to players or teams, these outrageous stats to end against us. Whilst that didn't happen, Oliver Skip, a player who before playing against us last Saturday had one goal to his name, he then goes and scores a 20-yard screamer. It's those types of things that happen against us, supposedly against all the odds, as they say in the in the previews and in the, in the running ups to the games, but it's always it always happens. These days it's becoming more and more likely when it when it when it is against us, which is it, which is why. I'm getting frantic. Oh, I, can't, I can't be asked. I can't be asked tomorrow. Which is why this game against Leeds at this point in the season, with everything that has happened up, uh, up to now for us, is absolutely impossible for any Chelsea fan to wake up tomorrow on match day confident that we won't lose. That's how bad things have gotten. The fans of a, uh, of a side who won the Champions League just two seasons ago can't even wake up on match day without an overwhelming sense of fear that we might lose or draw once again 
or more likely <laughs> than all of that, failed to score. 23 goals in 24 games is absolutely shambolic. We've only managed to score four more goals than Southampton, who are bottom of the table, and they've beaten us home and away, might I remind you. We are the lowest scoring side in the top 10 by 14 goals. We are the eighth lowest scoring side in the league. Aston Villa who are a place below us, have scored seven more goals than us. Leeds, who we face next and are in 17th place, have scored six more goals than us. Bournemouth, who are in 19th place, have scored just one less than us. So when I come to predicting scores for Chelsea, am I that much of a dickhead? to sit here and actually make you believe that I believe that we can score a goal, let alone get a draw, or better yet, a win. It's, it's not looking likely. It's not looking likely. Frankly, I think if Leeds score first, we're finished. It's done. The game's done. When do we ever come back? If they don't score, I could easily see uh, this being a nil-nil draw. If we've managed to scrape a goal and go 1-0 up, I still see it draw, uh, you know, ending a 1-1 draw. At most, at most, we get a draw because God knows we, ca we can't even fluke a win these days. We can't even fluke a win these days. We can't even rely on penalties to win us a game anymore. That's how barren of goals we are. Like, it's just, it's too much these days. It really is. <laughs> So my prediction is either 0-0, 1-1, or Leeds win. I cannot, in good conscience, predict a Chelsea win on this occasion. But I refuse to flat out predict a Chelsea loss. There's still an iota of belief. There really, really is. But, but if we're being completely frank, if, if you are a Chelsea fan waking up tomorrow on match day, Predicting anything more than a draw, you 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 lost, you you lost completely. As always, let me know your predictions in the comments. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified of any future content on the channel. My name is Harry. Up the Chelsea, and peace.